this is the Standoff Technology Integration and Demonstration Program. And we're here at the Toyota Center in Kennewick, Washington, which is serving as a long-term test bed for the Department of Homeland Security. The test bed is used to evaluate different explosives countermeasure architectures uh, that would be used to prevent a terrorist attack at large public events. Well, most of the current security technologies, they wait until the threat is either passing through or right near the location. This technology is really exciting because it, it detects a threat long before it gets to the venue itself, which is uh, obviously going to keep people safer, keep the venue safer. Certainly one of the most important things that we care about in the public facility business is the public safety. It, it has been a, a, the most important thing that we've done in this industry throughout its inception. This technology is going to allow us to have a, a, more, a less intrusive uh, position with the public and, and make a better experience. The real exciting thing about this project is that we get to provide the operators of the equipment because ultimately it's designed for law enforcement and to be operated by law enforcement. So this is an opportunity for the Kennewick Police Department to partner up, provide the line level folks that will actually be utilizing the equipment, give feedback as this technology is development, what works well, what doesn't work so well, so that as it gets marketed and gets distributed, it is actually going to be able to enhance and help what we do here in law enforcement. The current field demonstration is evaluating technologies for person-borne threats. That is uh, concealed objects that may be worn by a suicide bomber, as well as leave behind objects that can contain explosive devices. The technologies used for concealed object detection include infrared cameras and a radar probe. Technologies that are used to identify abandoned objects include video analytics. The video analytics technology is also used to detect other anomalies such as loitering individuals, formation of groups, as well as um, we're evaluating this ability to track people. We also have a long-term program in which we can test sensors as well as the integration of sensors into a system of systems. This provides industry with a really unique opportunity to evaluate their approaches work with others to develop new approaches, and what we want to do is motivate industry to become involved.